Hey there, this is Matt with Defense Innovations, <clears throat> and today we're going to take a look at our Trend Tactical Gear Armor Series. We're going to continue that series here with the uh, AR500 plate that they offer. Uh, this is considered a NIJ Level 3 plate. It does have the coating uh, base coat on the plate, um, which is like an anti-spall rhino lining type of coating. And it will, you know, prevent rust and protect it. Also, the big thing is, is it catches spall from any kind of impact. Um, <clears throat> it's considered a level three multi-hit protection against 7.62 uh, NATO um, steel jacketed bullets. It says U.S. military design M80 with a specified mass of 9.6 grams, 147 grain in velocity of 2780 feet per second, plus or minus 30 feet per second. So very interesting type threat here as I'm still finding pieces of spall on my desk. But a very interesting um, plate offering. You know, there's a lot of plates out there uh, that are the level three or the level four. And I'm not gonna get into the whole, you know, ballistics. I mean, if you wanna really know about deep on ballistics and uh, regulations, you know, just go to the National Institute of Justice and start looking around and Googling how they test a lot of different things. Um, so what I did was I was out on some family property. I put this in a plate carrier, put it up about 150 yards away, and we shot it with quite a few different rifle caliber cartridges. I did not bother shooting this with any pistols uh, as it would be a moot point because this is an AR-500 substrate steel. I shoot AR-500 targets all the time and it literally flattens the bullet, absolutely flattens the bullet. So no need to test um, <clears throat> pistol on this. But what we did test was, oh, let me think about this, we tested it with 5.56, 62 grain, tested it with uh, 308s, um, both 147 grain, kind of an FMJ 7.62 by 51, uh, and I also tested it with a Hornady, I believe, 208 grain uh, projectile as well that's, that's moving, I believe, around 2,800 feet per second, really pushing that one hard. <clears throat> that's a load, by the way. And uh, we also shot it uh, with some Hornady 6.5 Creedmoor rounds, and those ones are hustling. Those are around 3,000 feet per second. No penetration at all. As you can see here, there's the plate does have some superficial damage. Uh, there's actually some spall sticking out of the plate. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not in the image. Um, but there's really no damage to this plate. There's no deformation on the back at all. There's nothing pushing through. Um, this tape is just here um, for logos and trademark reasons. Um, but it does say here, rating NIJ 0101.06, level three, 762 NATO. We abused this plate, guys, and there was no damage. The only thing that starts to happen after multiple impacts is the, the line X kind of starts to separate at the seams a little bit from the back pressure. But if you look down in there, there's just spall. I mean, it just caught all of the spall from the bullet. So very impressed. You can see where it's kind of got little bumps here on the front. <clears throat> That's just where the bullet's gone in and the, and the rhino lining has caught, caught the bullet deforming and captured that spall escaping. So let's go on and head out to the range. And, see and we're moving on to some of the heavier duty plates offered by Trenton Tactical. Right now we're getting ready to shoot uh, one of their AR-500 steel plate um, variants that they're going to offer. But we're going to be shooting this at a distance of 160 yards. Uh, this first rifle is going to be a Mark 12 variant, so it's going to be a 5.56, uh, 62 grain green tip. And we're going to be shooting it suppressed today. So if you look up on the ridge, you may be able to see it when I go to the close range camera. But we're in a uh, red uh, bulletproof vest actually, or a chest plate carrier. So you'll be able to see it pretty good. So here we go. Let's get on it and uh, see if we get it a couple times. Hit. Hit.
Okay, so this is our uh, plate that we were just testing. Again, this is a listed as a level three full, so NIJ 0101.06, so it's rated for 762 NATO. If you'll be able to see this or not right here. But we had two shots, two hits, uh, with the 556 62 grain green tip. There's one right here, and there's one right there. They're kind of hard to see, you know, this, the Linex or whatever kind of material they're using on here, it's kind of fused a little bit. But there's um, nothing, uh, very little damage actually to the, to the plate itself, absolutely nothing on the back. So again, that was with a 5.56, 62 grain green tip penetrator. All right, we're going to go ahead and continue our level three. Uh, plate of Trenton Tactical Gear body armor testing here. We just did the 62 grain green tip out of the 556 uh, platform and we're gonna run here uh, out of a Remington 700 uh, custom that I've been working with. I've got 212 grain 308 uh, Hornady ELDX's. These puppies are running about 2700 feet per second so they're cooking pretty good so it should uh, stress that that plate just a little bit. So we'll go ahead and take a shot and we got the close in camera watching, so we'll see how it looks. One of the things I did notice during this part of the test was the spall from the Hornady 212 ELDXs did create some damage to the plate carrier itself, and then you'll see that when the test moves here. Okay, so this is the uh, level three plus plate, or three or above plate. It's uh, rated for 7.62 NATO, so we just shot it with those 212 grain Hornady ELDXs, and uh, there is no penetration whatsoever. Um, in fact, I don't know if you'll be able to see it here, and here there's these like brass or copper jacketed barbs from what's left of the bullet. Um, as you can see here, no penetration, no deformation at all. So we'll go ahead and continue the test. We're going to shoot it uh, with uh, like a just a full on 762 NATO round, see if that does any more damage, and then um, probably just go with a super high velocity 6.5 Creedmoor to see if we'll get any kind of deformation at all. Alrighty, so those uh, 212 ELDXs didn't seem to do a whole lot, so I wanted to go to a smaller but a full metal jacket and probably higher velocity bullet with just uh, some standard 762 by 51 NATO. This is just a 147 grain um, 308 762 um, full metal jacket. So let's see if we can get some penetration or any kind of action on the plate. Okay, so this was the 147 grain full metal jacket uh, 762 by 51 round. And over here is just kind of the spalling from other impacts. But right here is the 147 grain. That's all that's left is just this little shard hanging out in here. And a very, very little hole. As you can see back here, there is no sign of any kind of deformation or any, any kind of bump. So definitely stopping all of these higher velocity rounds. Okay, so we haven't seen any damage yet with the 556 or the 308, even in the full metal higher velocity, full metal jacket type bullets. So I'm gonna go really high velocity and shoot some uh, 6.5 Creed Moors out of here. And they're going just at 3,000 feet per second. So we'll see what happens. And um, if we get the shot we're looking for, we'll probably just uh, get a bunch of headshots on that plate just for fun, because this thing is a tack driver. That's a headshot. Yeah. Headshot. That was a chest shot on the plate. Go for another headshot here.
not unlike the 308s we saw earlier, these high velocity 6.5s, the spall created some damage to the plate carrier, but no penetration. Okay, so trying the principle of higher velocity may penetrate through here did not seem to work on this plate. We put four 6.5 Creedmoors into the center mass that were going about 3,000 feet per second. So we can kind of see here, get the camera down. We got a pinhole here. Let's see, there was another pinhole somewhere around here. Here, here. And I lost the other one. Yeah, up here. I think that was that was from the 556. This one wasn't. You can feel a little bubbling here. But again, the front of the plate's pretty damaged and pretty marred, but there is no damage to the back at all. Um, actually, where that 165 hit over here, I can feel a little bit of a bump, but that's it. But if you look across the plane of the plate, there's no big bump in it for transfer of energy. So, very impressed. Very impressed. Got to give my. Uh, Give a round of applause to Trenton Tactical on this one. Now to wrap up this video, I just really want to emphasize the time and effort uh, that the guys at Trenton Tactical put into selecting their gear, selecting the products that not only they distribute, but the products that they uh, end up private labeling and carrying. So, um, you know, that everyone can, can look at some tests and you can, you can get a lot of certifications, but until you really go out and, and and shoot these for yourself and see what they're capable of. Um, it really gives you more confidence. You know, I personally have a set of these uh, and a plate carrier, and so now I know unequivocally that my body armor is going to stop multiple hits from multiple high velocity calibers up to and, and probably even exceeding 7.62. Um, you know, they, they always have to put some kind of uh, range of safety in there, and so, you know, they're rating this to a max of 7.62 NATO. Um, but it's it's going to it's going to stop a lot of different a lot of different threats. So again, thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to send a message. I will put the link for Trenton Tactical Gear, uh, so you guys can get in touch with them if you have any questions uh, or if you'd like to place an order. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you found it um, helpful in maybe deciding your next body armor choice. Uh, again, please subscribe, please like the video, and please share, and uh, check us out on Facebook and Instagram at the links below. Thanks.